elements of art are the building blocks of art. So those are the actual things that you see in a piece of art. And you can also think about it as the ingredients of art, not the materials, not the crayons or the markers or the paper that we use, but the actual things that you see in art. Those include color, you see color in art, value, which is dark and light, lines, shapes, forms, which are 3D shapes, texture, which is how something feels with your fingers or looks like it could feel. And also there's space. That's how you use up your art space. In this video, I will explain the element of color. Color is the element produced by light reflecting off of objects. And depending on what kind of object it is, different wavelengths of light reflect off and the different wavelengths give different colors. So art is connected with science a lot of times. There are three different parts of color. One is hue, that's the name of the color, like blue, yellow. The second one is value. There's light colors and dark colors. The third one is intensity. There's bright colors and dull colors. Here's a color wheel. The color wheel is a tool that artists use to help them identify the relationship between different colors. The closer the colors are on the color wheel, the more similar they are. The further away on the color wheel the colors are, the more different they are. The color wheel is organized with primary colors, which are red, yellow, blue, secondary colors, which are in between those colors, orange, purple, and green, and tertiary colors, which are between the primary and the secondary color. They are all arranged in this beautiful rainbow order, and that is the relationship between colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. If you mix two of the primary colors, then you get secondary colors. If you mix the primary colors red and yellow, you get orange. Red and blue equals purple or violet. Blue plus yellow is green. And those are the three secondary colors, orange, violet, and green. Now a lot of times we just talk about primary and secondary colors, but there's also colors in between. And those in between colors are called tertiary colors. Those are the kind of colors that have two color names combined. It's going to be a primary plus a secondary color. So red plus violet is red violet. Violet plus blue is blue violet. So all of those colors that have two color names combined are tertiary colors. Colors can also be organized into color schemes or color families. Color schemes are a group of colors that have a name. Some that we have talked about before might include primary, secondary, warm, cool. There's also complementary, neutral, analogous, and monochromatic. Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Those are the colors where if you mix two primaries, you get another color called the secondary color. The three colors that you can make by mixing the three primary colors are called secondary colors, which are orange, green, and purple. Analogous colors are colors that are very similar to each other. So they're going to be next to each other or close on the color wheel. Complementary colors are opposite colors on the color wheel. The opposite of red is green, opposite of orange is blue, opposite of yellow is violet. Warm colors are the colors that remind you of a campfire and they are on one side of the color wheel. They are yellow, orange, and red and everything in between. On the other side of the color wheel are cool colors. Cool colors are colors that remind us of things that are cold and calm. Violet, blue, and green are the three cool colors and also everything in between. Neutral colors are colors that are not on the color wheel. They're white, black, gray, brown, tan. Colors that can be natural hair or skin color are usually called neutral colors. Monochromatic means one color. So if you look at the color green, even though green is just one color, there's many different darknesses and brightnesses of green. So this is an example of a monochromatic painting where it's all green, but using different types of green. Expressive colors is when artists use colors that are not realistic. A person is not actually blue, but Picasso painted this painting with blue to show the emotion of this artwork. Another example of expressive colors Franz Marc colored his horses with blue. Colors also have feelings attached to them. If you think of red, you might think of love 
or you might think of anger. If you think of blue, you might think of sadness, but also you might think of peacefulness. So different colors have different emotions.